Hi, it's John. I got myself a new kit. And it didn't cost me too many bones. Welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. I'm in my backyard right now, about to go out on a ride, and I wanted to do a review of a new kit I got off of Amazon. Um, on this, it says Tixada, as you can see on the side, but uh, actually when we ordered it, it said Wosa, W-O-S-A-W-E, and when it came in, once it was uh, delivered, it said it was Do Cooler. So uh, I think these are pretty much interchangeable if you want to buy these kits on Amazon. Comes with a jersey and the shorts. We'll take a close a look at the shorts in just a minute. I'm going to get some footage when I'm out riding and I'll do the review when I'm on the road as well. I'm going to try to get about a 60k ride in today with a certain amount of climbing just to see how the shorts work out over the long term because let's face it, uh, the jersey feels great. Uh, nice and long in the back. We'll take a little closer look at that as well once we get down into the studio and I can show you these things close up. Uh, it does feel great. Really deep pockets in it and uh, fits nice and snug as well which was I was looking for with an extra large but the shorts that's the thing that's the most important part because that chamois is so important when you're riding. Generally, you buy cheaper shorts and the chamois is crap. Now, when we talk about cheap, I swear to God, the jersey and the shorts cost $44.99. So in essence, $25 for the jersey, $25 for the shorts. These can't be that good, right? They can't be. Well, first off, I just put them on for the very first time and they feel pretty comfortable. We'll talk more about sizes in a moment when I'm out on the road, get some footage, and we'll tell you if this is worth it if you're cycling on a shoestring. Welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. And as you can see, I am inside and I had recorded uh, all of the reviews for the jersey and the shorts on my bike, but I put my GoPro on my stem and there was just too much road noise. Well, actually, here's a little bit of what I did. You can hear me but I think it's a little bit distracting. So what I wanted to do was just basically get um, my initial thoughts just as I'm leaving my house. And, uh... I think you'll agree all that sound coming up through my bike and into my camera was a little distracting. So I figured it'd be best just to do the review right here in my studio. Well, first of all, I want to talk about the jersey. We'll take a closer look at the shorts in just a moment. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Right now, I've got a microphone on, so I'm not going to zip it all the way up. But I think the fit is good. It is an extra large. And uh, what they do when you order it is they ask you to measure around your chest. And that will determine uh, the size you're going to get uh, for the jersey and the shorts. This is an extra large. Again, I am about 6'2", about 190 pounds right now. It fits snug, which is what I want. I don't want it too loose. A little looser in the sleeves, if that's a concern with you, uh, but it isn't with me. Uh, maybe I'll have to do more bench presses just to get the arms a little bit bigger to uh, be a little tighter around the sleeves. But overall, it's a great fit. Now, looking at the jersey from behind, let me turn around here. You can see it's got three pockets in the back, and they're very large. There's lots of space in there for you to stow away stuff. I would think larger than most because this jersey, when it's pulled all the way down, comes right back in the middle of your behind. So it really falls down far. Uh, when you put it on so it's not going to slide up when you're on on your bike and over your drops it also has this rubberized uh, no slip grip slip on the back of it so it's not going to slide up at all but lots and lots of space in there really big pockets on the back and i like the length of it on the side you might notice there are these little tabs right here i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure it's uh, reflective so if you happen to be out a little later at night, you've been out on a ride getting home when it's starting to become dusk or even dark, I think this will glow in the dark, which is nice when you have a little bit of that extra, you know, the safety feature in the jersey. It is a full zipper all the way down, so uh, it's kind of nice that it is a full zip. I thought it would probably be a three quarters when I got it, but it is a full zip. Generally, you see three quarters on maybe less expensive jerseys. And um, I like the pattern of it, but you can get this in so many different patterns. As far as the collar goes, I do have the uh, microphone on, but you can see how it comes up around the throat. It's not tight, but it is snug. So if it's a cooler morning and you want to stay warm, you can zip it up a little higher and it will stay, uh, you know, you'll stay a little bit more toasty. As far as the zipper goes, one more thing, it looks like a pretty quality zipper. So I don't think you're gonna have any problems with it flipping open while you're out on the road or it breaking or anything like that. Overall, really great for the jersey. If you were just to buy that for 40 bucks, I think uh, you'd be pretty pleased, but it's about 22.50 when it comes with the shorts along with it. But let's take a look at the shorts now and uh, we'll see what they're really all about. When it comes to the shorts, they have to feel good, which these do, but it's what's inside that counts. 
What's that chamois like and how was it when I was out on the bike? So let's take a closer look at these shorts. First of all, I think they look really nice. I like the graphics on them. They've been washed. I don't see any running of the colors. Uh, there's your logo on the side. That'll change depending on what you buy. Again, I ordered Wosaws. I ended up with Lixada. Doesn't matter to me. I didn't know what either one meant anyway, so not really an issue here. And um, looking at the sizing, it says XL right here, and it says they're 82% polyamide and 18% spandex. Um, and I have been washed. Again, I do not throw any of my shorts or jerseys in dryers. I let them drip dry or just hang dry uh, because they are made with you know, spandex and elastics in them and they'll last a lot longer if you don't throw them into a hot dryer. As far as the look of them, um, they've got plenty of panels in them. They felt really comfortable. Uh, I've had really cheap shorts before and they just feel weird on you, like they're made for something that's not human. And I'm a human being, so I want my shorts to fit properly. No issue at all. Looking down here uh, on the cuff, which uh, comes up just above your knee, so they're plenty long enough, you've got this rubberized uh, no slip grip slip here. So that's, uh, that's a nice little addition as well. They fit nice and uh, tight around the knees. They're not going to slide up at, it at all. Now taking a look at something that's really important when you get shorts is the stitching. Now if you look where it's stitched here, it looks like a single stitch. But if you flip it to the inside, you can see there's this, um, this, this weaving type uh, stitching in there. So I don't think this is going to come apart at all. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can take a little bit closer look at the crotch area. And you can see it's got this multi-stitching around the crotch, which holds the chamois on the inside. You know, I've had some pretty high-end shorts in the past, and they haven't done this. And I've ended up with it splitting apart with little holes in it. So that's not going to happen with these shorts. So this is really really well done. So I'm pretty pleased uh, with the way these are made and the way they are stitched. Flipping them over, uh, pretty, pretty typical uh, looking shorts. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way they fit. I'm happy with the way they look. And I'm happy with the price for sure, but the important thing when it comes to shorts is what's on the inside. And the chamois in there, is it going to live up uh, to the $22.50 I paid for these? Or is it going to let me down? Well, let's take a look at it and we'll actually put them against a, a pair of high-end shorts I've got and compare the chamois side by side. So here we go on the inside, uh, the, taking a look at the chamois. And let's just put things into perspective. If you're like me and you've been riding for about 30 years and you maybe pulled on your first pair of uh, cycling, cycling shorts 30 years ago, this is far superior to anything you would have had 30 years ago. So this is just a dream come true. Uh, I had a lot of sore butts uh, riding 30 years ago, riding those old shorts. Uh, but again, putting it into perspective, uh, these are pretty terrific. Uh, looking at where you've got your sit bones, this where it says gel anti-shock and Lixata on the back. I mean, this is pretty darn thick. I mean, it is really thick back here. And these sit in exactly the right spot when you're on your saddle. A little bit different way they're made in here. This would be sort of on the, uh, the nose of your saddle right here with this split down the middle. Now, it is uh, pretty thick uh, foam or gel in the middle as well. And this provided a lot of comfort. I didn't feel any pinching. And then, of course, it gets narrower as you go to the outside right here where it says comfort zone and soft zone uh, so that it kind of molds around the saddle when you're riding it. It says air through at the top up here, much thinner up here. And just to let you uh, know, guys, um, you never felt too uncomfortable or constricted riding, or at least I never did while I was riding, if you get my drift. Plenty of room in these um, uh, if you're a guy, okay? Just to let you know. Can't talk for the women's ones. Maybe somebody will do a review on them. But overall, this is a pretty darn good chamois in here. I'm pretty impressed. But let's put it up against a pair of Sugois and see how they compare side by side. So on this side, I've got the Lixadas, which I paid at $22.54. Well, came with a package with, with the jersey as well for $44.99. On this side, I did get a deal on these, but you can pay upwards of about $150, $160 for these. Segoy, I believe they're RS Pros. I got them online for about $80, bucks, but they do run over $100 Canadian if you're trying to buy them. Now, as far as the chamois go, um, I feel that the Lixada one is a little more firm. 
Uh, maybe not quite as big because this has this sort of this heart shape here. Um, uh, this is a little softer on the Segoy side. And of course, uh, it looks a little bit different in here, a little different than most shorts with this uh, double ribbed section down the middle on the Lixadas where it's uh, pretty much uh, the same thickness all the way across, which would be the part sitting right on the nose of your saddle uh, when you're on your bicycle. A little more padding right here, which I think would probably come in handy on those long rides uh, when you're up and down off the saddle all the time. But overall, I think the padding in the front is similar. This one says air through. This one says micro ventilation. I think they're pretty comparable. Uh, and these I paid $22.54 and these I paid more than $80 for and you'll pay more than $100 if you're paying full price for these shorts. So I really have no concerns whatsoever about the chamois in these shorts. I would say they're comparable. I don't think there's uh, anything superior about this chamois over this chamois. Time will tell on this. I've ridden these a long way. Time will tell whether these are good on the long rides. But a 67K ride went by perfectly fine and I never had any pain at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it back outside after I finished my ride the other day and we'll just get a, a conclusion to this review of these Lixada uh, shorts and the jersey as well. I just got back from a 67K ride and I'm pretty impressed with the jersey Lixada uh, jersey and shorts for $44.99. I think earlier I said it was $25 a piece. It's more like $22.50. I mean, the price is just ridiculous. I, I don't know how they can sell them and make a profit like this, but I think the jersey is perfect. I have no problems with the jersey at all. Perfect length, big pockets, fits comfortably. It's a full zip in the front, right on the money. Extra large, fits me great. Shorts run a little bit smaller than extra large. They're extra large in name, probably run a large and three quarters, but overall I felt comfortable on the bike. I think the chamois is excellent. Um, I think they felt really comfortable. I'm not gonna send them back. I think they're made nicely. Time will tell whether they hold up when it comes to washing them and wearing them over and over and over again. But I think this is a, a great buy. Now, they do come under a bunch of different names, I think, on Amazon. I think it's all the same stuff. They put different graphics names on them. It could say Do Cooler on it. It might say Lixada or something else. You're going to find a lot of different uh, logos and patterns and names. I, I, give them, uh, I give them a lot of credit for coming up with some stuff that's uh, great if you're cycling on a shoestring for sure. Now, if this video was helpful to you, by all means, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel as well. And also, ring the bell to get notifications for new videos. And thanks a lot for watching Cycling on a Shoestring.